Have a look at this really cool Young's double slit interference question. We have light of frequency 4.75 times 10 to the power of 14 hertz is incident on this double slit with a slit separation of 0.20 millimeters. Now 8.2 meters away, there's a line at which a trolley is moving with a constant speed of 0.18 meters per second. The trolley has a little light detector at the top and what we're trying to find is the time interval between successive bright fringes. Using the famous lambda is equal to ax over d equation, we should be able to actually work out the fringe separation. We don't actually know what the wavelength is, however we do know the frequency, so we can just say that the wavelength will be equal to the speed of light divided by the frequency. In this case, A is the slit separation, D is this distance, 8.2 meters, and X is the fringe separation. So X will just be equal to C over F multiplied by D divided by A, which in turns will be equal to the speed of light, which is 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, divided by the frequency, which is 4.75 times 10 to the power of 14. Now the distance d is 8.2 meters and let's divide that by a which is the slit separation which is 0 0.20 millimeters. That is 0 0.20 times 10 to the power of minus and if we put this into a calculator we're going to get approximately 0 0.026 meters for our fringe separation. This is not what the question is actually asking for. It's asking us for the time interval between successive bright fringes as measured by this trolley. So this trolley will be going through the fringes and successive bright fringes will be separated by this distance 0.026 meters. So we can just simply use the fact that this distance is equal to speed times time, assuming that the speed is constant. So to work out this time t, all we need to do is take those two distances, divide them, so it'll be x over the speed, which will be around 0.026. I'm gonna divide that by the speed, which is 0.18. And this will give us 0.14 seconds. Now if you're revising waves and physics you absolutely need to have a look at my video on my crucial exam tips and this video is just over here.